Delicious. Munch, 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 munch. <laughs> I'm glad you've had a chance to see these. Cats. Munchy, crunchy, munchy, crunchy. I saved the crickets for when you guys showed up. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. I've had these crickets for three days. No one, uh, it would be the, the best part of the show because it is their favorite. <laughs> And out of curiosity's sake, I uh, got them giant-sized mealworms, which they have trouble with. They, they won't eat those. And giant crickets that are as big as they are. Uh -huh. Well, not giant, but just a normal-sized cricket, what mm -hmm. they call full-size. These are, they call them little crickets. Um, and the full-size crickets, you tell them, Mom, about as big as they are, right? Well, just almost, if, just if almost. they were crickets. But now, they're... they can jump really successfully. So when they went into the terrarium, the lid would go on and um, the cricket would hop around and any little shrew that knows the cricket, it would hop away very successfully. But then the crickets wanted to hang out someplace safe, so the crickets would burrow themselves into the blanket or the towel that we had. Well, that's a big mistake. <laughs> oh. because the, they couldn't get away. Yeah, the shrews love to burrow all around the towel as well. Sure. Now, shrews are little diggers, aren't they? It seems like. The I last don't think they I watched, can... Mom, hmm? they chewed two perfect symmetrical holes right in each corner so that they had a, a, a really marvelous tunneling system. I was trying to figure out whether they were more underground tunnelers or more underbrush tunnelers. I think they're underbrush tunnelers. Mm -hmm. Uh, look at their paws. They're teeny tiny. They don't have the digging paws it's, like no, moles do. No, and there is a thing called a mole shrew or a shrew mole. I don't know which word comes first. And they their heads look like little shrews, mm -hmm. but they have these big, fat, heavy... The body mm -hmm. is the And, and yeah. the, the front paws that are turned outward. For digging. The, the dig. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, now we're just showing it. Oh, baby. Doobie, doobie, Because there's one on the inside that's going to throw it up. Doobie's going to be all dizzy. Roxy's. Roxy's. Oh, dear. Hi, guys. There was one inside. Oh, no, that's what we're can I drop a worm in? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can put the whole tray in. You can drop the worms in. You can do whatever you want. There. I think I just want to... Oh, one, one cricket just hit the dust and went in the tube. They're kind of hard to grab. The big ones bite back. And that's... Uh, normal ones are small like this. Mm -hmm. And then this is a giant... They call that one a giant mealworm. And it's too Don't mealworms turn into beetles? Mm. I thought I'd be doing my favor. I don't know what they become. The little mouse just couldn't uh, attack the girl. Well, Rob was saying that they're, uh, the waxworms, at least, are a kind of silkworm, which would mean that they become a moth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. That's what I was told, too, is um, I'm really good. I could have made that connection if I thought about it. Yeah, they're a, what we call them, a pupa? Uh, a, I larva, at this larva. point. And yes. they said that they're a moth larva. Mm hmm I said, well, what's a waxworm? It's a moth larva. When I'm separating them out from the little sawdust containers to get them in, I'll put them on a little piece of paper. And then I'll try to put the paper into the dish. And they're all hanging by the little silk thread at the back sides. And I have to brush it down. And I'll put these are like silk. The little green ones, I call them peepers. And they can turn brown if they're on something brown, or they can come up bright green if they're on a leaf. I'm pretty sure it's the same. Mm -hmm. One of the frogs, one of the tuples that turned into frogs, mm -hmm. um, he was green when he was up on the clear top. Mm -hmm. But then as soon as he hit like the brownish, tannish log, well, I'm, they may have some chromatophores. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. We had a gray big old toad who was about so old. And he would winter over under 
a big chunk of cement by the old swimming pool. And we always knew it was the same guy because he had uh, one perfectly good front leg, but the other one was his feet. And old Stumpy. Old Stumpy the Toad. Yeah, and it 